With so much content whizzing around out there, there's only one storytelling platform that helps you keep calm and stay informed and inspired. Flipboard. Flipboard curates the world's stories so you can be smarter in your work, life, and play. Choose from thousands of topics to personalize Flipboard and get the latest stories from the best publishers and experts delivered to you 24-7. When you see stories you want to save or share, tap the plus button to add them to private or public collections. It's that simple. Used by millions of people every day, Flipboard is how people move themselves and the world forward. Get started now at Flipboard.com. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 209. In today's episode, is Walmart Jet.com crashing? Jet.com is losing altitude. That's according to the recent report by Bloomberg that states the online retailer has seen a sharp decline in traffic. Traffic for Jet.com declined about 60% in March compared with a year earlier. Walmart, Jet's owner, has increased its marketing spend for their primary site, Walmart.com, while scaling back on promotion for Jet. This comes as Walmart has also put its efforts into revamping their website. They've added more upscale goods and new apparel brands and expanded their home delivery options. They've even entered into a partnership with upscale department store chain, Lord & Taylor. Walmart seems to be adopting the features of Jet to lure away a Jet's prime customer, the savvy millennial shopper, who come to expect features like Jet's smart cart shopping feature, which provides discounts for ordering more items. This mechanism has already been adopted by Walmart.com. Walmart.com's traffic, meanwhile, was up 5% over the same period, according to data tracker SimilarWeb. So long as Walmart's numbers are strong, it doesn't matter what happens to Jet, said Sukarita Kodali, an analyst at Forrester Research. This makes it easy to sunset Jet and focus on Walmart. I'm not sure, honestly, why Jet is even still around. Hmm, harsh words. But Jet isn't coming in for a landing just yet. They brought in Simon Belsham as their new president who joined the company last month. Founder Mark Laurie is now running Walmart's U.S. online unit. In an email to Bloomberg, Jet spokesman Meredith Klein said, website traffic is an imperfect way of looking at it and not that meaningful given changes the company is make, making to stand out from competitors. The site is investing in key urban markets like New York and San Francisco, and its share of new customers coming from those areas has increased compared with last year, according to the company. So I think also, wasn't there rumors that Walmart, not rumors, but there's already happening that Walmart is getting a full redesign right now too? That is correct. They are so, redesigning the entire state. So this was bound to happen, actually. That Jet, you know, they snagged Jet.com and, you know, everybody from Jet. And then they're just going to move him on to actual Walmart um, side, which was really weird because I thought they are going to do the other properties just by themselves. I guess not. Yeah, we did. We actually did, we did a show about this, how they were yeah. had all these new properties and Mark, one of the interviews he did at Shop Talk was like, eh, we're staying the course, but uh, it doesn't seem to be that way. Um, so I guess, I guess they're really taking off the um, uh, ads and stuff like that and, and moving it over. That's, that's interesting. Well, here's what they're doing. They're actually focused. They're actually focusing their advertising. So if you're in New York, uh, I know in Philly, they have some billboards. They're doing, they're actually advertising, but they're not advertising. They're only advertising to what they consider their core base, which is the millenniums. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> love when I say that millenniums, Joey millennium. Uh, no, it was a Johnny millennium. Johnny, Johnny millennium. millennium. He's going to shop at jet, but um as we all know, Walmart is the known brand in middle America. So you sure. know that brand no matter where you go in the country, Jet, not so much. Yeah. So that's going to be – wow. That's, that's just interesting how they're, or they're moving around. Um, hmm. So I don't know. I mean, the traffic metric, uh, I mean, 60% is a lot. But there was also a stat that said the duration of the average visit on the site has risen over the past year. So pe the people that are going are, I guess, loyal customers and are spending more time on the site. Um, yeah, that's, unless that's they're... It translates to dollars, but that's, a, that's significant, I think. Yeah, unless they're just like really, really focused targeting on just big areas and don't really care where it's coming from. Well, that's, that's, that's what I think is going to happen if this survives another year. They're just going to say Jet is now a niche, a niche site. For, for Walmart, and they're just right, not paying much attention to it. Yeah, or they're just going to niche it out on every single one of these things, like Bonobos and Montcloth and the rest and, of those guys. Uh, all's well. Yeah. 
Right. Cool. Yeah, interesting. All right. Anything else, Dad? Nope. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. <laughs> Millenniums. Millenniums. <laughs> That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>